Jennifer Owen. Please give us your name and address. Thank you. I'm Jennifer Owen, 2217 Fair Drive. I'm a former KCS teacher. I have a great deal of respect for the educators behind me, and I know they have sacrificed dearly trying to bring information to this board and the public for the benefit of Knox County Schools. However, I think we're going about things the wrong way. This may not be the best forum for these concerns. We may need a larger forum. We tend to forget that Knox County does not have a school system. Our state has a school system. The state school system is divided into smaller districts called local education agencies or LEAs. Management of those LEAs is entrusted to local boards of education. So just looking at the big picture, the state legislature makes the laws regarding schools in the state. The state board of education further creates policies. The state department of education is tasked with enforcing the laws and policies. Cities and counties elect boards of education. Boards of education serve the state by managing the local education agencies. And those boards hire a director of schools to oversee the day-to-day -day operation of the LEA. As teachers and community members, we keep talking to middle management. Truth to power doesn't come from talking to middle management, especially when middle management is a large part of the problem. To better serve our community, we need to take a look at Tennessee Code Annotated and really think about where our voices might better serve our students. There are two things that the following laws address. They address the legal acceptance of the broad grant, road grant, sorry, and treatment of employees who have tried to address problems within KCS. The purpose of the Education Truth in Reporting and Employee Protection Act of, 18, of 1989 deals with the very problems that we are seeing. And if you want the number for that, it's TCA 4950-1402. It's the intent of the General Assembly to reduce the waste and mismanagement of public education funds, to reduce abuses in governmental authority, and to prevent illegal and unethical practices. To help achieve these objectives, the General Assembly declares that public education employees should be encouraged. Get that word, encouraged. Public education employees should be encouraged to disclose information on actions of local education agencies that are not in the public interest. Employees making those disclosures shall not, shall not, not will not, not maybe not, shall not. They shall not be subject to disciplinary measures, discrimination, or harassment by any public official. I believe this should include attempts by this board to publicly chastise or shame those employees in these meetings. Tennessee Code clarifies that disciplinary action means any direct or indirect form of discipline or penalty, including but not limited to dismissal, demotion, transfer, reassignment, suspension, reprimand, admonishment, reduction in force, withholding of work, unsatisfactory or below standard performance evaluation, or the threat of such discipline or penalty. Disclosure of information includes the waste of public education funds, mismanagement, falsification of state required reports, inaccurate compilation of statistical data or reports, or abuse of authority by locally employed, elected, or appointed officials or employees of an LEA. The penalties are very clearly laid out. Should any person, and this can include an employee like a director of schools, should any person be found guilty of knowingly and willingly making or causing to be made any false statement or report or otherwise violating the requirements that any person shall forfeit all pay and compensation for the position held for a period not to exceed one year, be subject to dismissal, removal, or ouster. Yes, a public employee, a public employee can be the subject of ouster from the office or position and be ineligible for election or appointment for the same or similar position for five years. Any person having knowledge may report or disclose the falsification, waste, or mismanagement to the Department of Education, Committee, or the General Assembly, or individual, official, member, or employee of the department. The department shall make thorough investigation of any written report of falsification, waste, or mismanagement. Have our board members all, have you all made a thorough investigation of everything that you have heard? A person reporting shall be presumed to be acting in good faith, something that has not been evident in these meetings and shall thereby be immune from any liability, civil or criminal, that might otherwise be incurred or imposed for the reporting. 
I believe we've dealt with middle management long enough. It is time for our community to exercise our due diligence as community members, and we need to move this forward and move it on up the chain to a larger forum. Thank you.